Another diesel? Where did this one come from? Alright, we'll just have to accept this fact now. The new character being introduced is Mavis, a female diesel that worked in Farquhar Quarry along with Toby. Now even though she looked like Toby, being that she was boxy, had side plates, cow catchers, and quite a beautiful smile, looks were deceiving. Mavis is young and full of her own ideas. She loves rearranging things too and began putting Toby's cars in different places every day. This made Toby cross. Fiddlesticks, said Mavis, and flounced away. Actually, Mavis's driver is the one who is moving Toby's trucks about. Maybe Mavis and Toby's crew members should have a talk about this because they're the ones who are doing the rearranging. As we cleared up, these engines can't do anything if their drivers are not operating them. Also, anyone hear Mavis's theme? It's not the most famous of tunes, but it is recognizable. Best way to describe her theme is determined but naive. At last, Toby became fed up with Mavis's desires and left her with his trucks. This still didn't lessen the friction between them, and someone who should have been long gone from Sodor heard the commotion. Toby says only steam engines can manage freight cars, continued Mavis. How absurd, squirmed Diesel. Depend upon it, Mavis. Anything steam engines can do, we Diesels can do better. First of all, how is Diesel back? Was he not sent back to wherever he came from after his own entry and Diesel does it again? Or did when Top Hat mean he would not be inviting him back, he only meant Knapford Harbor? This dude should not be anywhere on Sodor. But here he is, stirring the pot as usual. Besides, Diesel knew nothing about trucks. Remember that last time he helped? He sent them straight into the key. Yes, truly an engine with invaluable experience. Not and especially when he had no clue about the quarry tram road during the winter time, which was used quite frequently by Toby. Toby stops before reaching the lane. His fireman halts the traffic at the crossing, and then he sets off again. By using the heavy cars to push him along, he has no trouble with the frosty rails in the lane and across the road. Trying to be the kind engine that he was, Toby had informed Mavis of that segment of line. Of course, being that both were kind of on the fritz, Mavis felt she was quite knowledgeable and did not need old Fusspot's advice. Unfortunately, that was the wrong thing to do, because by the time Mavis reached the quarry tram road, the trucks were anxious to have some fun. Instead of waiting further out, Mavis made her way right up to the level crossing, which is exactly what she should not have done. But Mavis had stopped in the wrong place. Instead of taking Toby's advice, she had given the cars the chance they wanted. Hold back, hold back, they cried. Grrr up, ordered Mavis. The cars just laughed and her wheels spun helplessly. <sighs> well, this situation is a mix of faults. Mavis should have listened to Toby, but her attitude was only amplified by Diesel's comments. What was he doing there anyway? If he is on Sodor, doesn't he have work to do and places to be? He's not working at the quarry. Anyway though, Mavis was stuck and began holding up other transports. Thankfully, she wasn't all by herself. Workmen attempted to get her going by laying sand on the rails, but that did no good either. Toby wasn't shocked when he heard the news, too. I warned her, he fumed. She's young yet, soothed his driver. They're your cars, really. Mavis is supposed to stay at the quarry. If Sir Topham Hat finds out... Hmm, yes, said Toby thoughtfully. Funny how Toby's attention was swayed 180 degrees after that point was proven. So with that, Toby made his way over to the quarry tram road and took his time to mock Mavis while she was stuck. Now, now, Toby, I understand why you're doing it, but you know it's not nice. Ah, eh, who am I kidding? Anyone would probably feel entitled of doing that after being ignored for so long. Then Toby began helping out Mavis. To give them extra traction, hot coals were thrown on the rails to melt the frost on the tracks. Finally, with one last push, Toby got Mavis back where she started. At last, they finished. Goodbye, called Toby. You'll manage now, I expect. Mavis didn't answer. 
She took the cars to the sheds and scuttled home to the quarry as quickly as she could. Outro music? When was the last time we heard that? And it's not like Mavis would have been in any trouble, but okay. I get that she's embarrassed over Toby helping her, but it's not all that bad. And again, news goes around Sodor fairly fast, so maybe it could come back to haunt her. Either way, this was an interesting method of introducing a new character, mainly because Mavis kinda came out of nowhere. Most new engines have been brought on board with a reason behind it from Top Hat. Here the big man was nowhere to be found and the story began like Mavis had been there for a while. It's like just mentioning in a conversation something obvious when it wasn't to anyone except the person mentioning it. Mavis is also our second female engine to be featured on the island of Sodor, and both are diesels, that being Daisy and her. So I want to know is, when is our first female Steamy arriving? Hmm, probably not for a while. Anywho, even though both Daisy and Mavis are diesels, we get to see a contrast in them too. The two of them think they are better than steam engines, yet one likes to be catered to while the other one enjoys doing the work given to them. Another difference is that Mavis has a younger mind and is still learning. Daisy seems to be a tad older, but much more spoiled too. For Mavis, learning from Toby would be an excellent way of being a better character and breaking the mold of the usual diesel trope. However, being that this is her first story, we will have to see what comes about. Mavis is certainly not a bad character, she just doesn't have the right guidance. Speaking of that, where the heck did Diesel come from? He should have been out of here. But no, we can't have that because he needs another chance, according to someone in a black top hat. Meanwhile, it was nice to see Toby be able to come out ahead, seeing that it's also been a while that we've had a story on him anyway. The locations to this entry was quite limited though. The two areas shown here were the Farquhar Quarry and the Quarry Tram Road. The Quarry Tram Road is new, but only gets a few views shown. The main feature to that was the level crossing. But for the quarry itself, there's more angles than you can shake a stick at. We see extra sidings and more trucks than ever. Music-wise, there are three motifs heard. The first being Mavis's theme, which is unique in itself. Then Diesel's is heard briefly when Mavis complains to him. And lastly, the breakdown train creeping theme is heard once more when Toby pushed back Mavis. Quite an interesting array, to say the least. Next episode is Toby's Tightrope. Thanks for watching.